Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy, APDA's Director of Web New Media, and we're here at APDA headquarters in Alexandria, Virginia. Happening right now is a workshop on development of clinical practice guidelines, and one of the clinical practice guidelines in development is guidelines related to concussion. And to talk about the topic of concussion and physical therapy, I'm joined by John DeWitt. Um, so tell me, first of all, um, a PT's role in concussion management, uh, what is it, what should it be? So yeah, uh, PT is uh, uniquely trained to assess and manage concussions, and we're one of the a uh, number of healthcare professionals that uh, manage these cases. And so uh, we take our training uh, to um, assess, rehab, uh, and return athletes and, and non-athletes to sports safely. And so you mentioned you're one of many, and so there's this multidisciplinary team approach often to the management of concussion. Where, does phys where do physical therapists fit into that? Um, what, who are the other people that are involved? Well, we, we certainly work with our healthcare partners to, um, to manage these cases. Uh, they can be from simple to very complex. So we work with physicians, athletic trainers, neuropsychologists, uh, and we're a piece of the puzzle and a very big piece. And I think that uh, as new research uh, is, uh, develops uh, and we look at uh, ways we can better manage these folks, uh, physical therapists uh, have uh, a real impact on, on returning these uh, individuals safely to sports and again, working with our partners to to make sure that we uh, are optimizing the health of, uh, of the folks that we uh, treat. Is this team approach stronger? Does it make it better to, to have so many people involved? Uh, absolutely. This uh, concussion is a uh, multifactorial uh, uh, condition, and it takes a, a multidisciplinary team to manage it effectively. Uh, no one profession has the, the answers, and so we need to do uh, our uh, best efforts to um, uh, look at the, the literature, uh, develop the studies, uh, train our folks uh, to um, manage these uh, cases um, with um, uh, cutting edge research and uh, excellent care. So let's expand on that multidisciplinary concept. What specifically does a physical therapist do as part of that multidisciplinary team? Well, it, it varies depending on the role of physical therapist and, and at what point in the uh, spectrum of the injury uh, they're involved with. But uh, uh, initially assessment, uh, certainly on the field uh, and uh, within uh, the clinical setting, uh, but also uh, in rehab. And so we work with uh, those folks that don't recover with rest, uh, that have uh, what we call post-concussive syndrome uh, and uh, utilizing vestibular, balance training, uh, cognitive training uh, to make sure that we safely uh, and efficiently uh, rehab these folks to get back to their previous level of activity. Uh, it's important for us to, again, work with those uh, uh, healthcare professionals outside uh, of uh, the realm of physical therapy, and we're doing that right now, working with the CDC on, on uh, pediatric uh, um, uh, concussion management guidelines uh, and um, in these pr uh, the practice guidelines that we're doing at the APTA right now. All these efforts are to ensure the safety of athletes and uh, individuals that suffer concussion so we can make sure that uh, they're able to return to, um, to what they want to get back to. So concussions have been in the news a lot lately, especially related to the return to play scenarios for athletes. Why is it so important to develop guidelines, clinical practice guidelines related to the management of concussion? Well, it, concussion is a very emotional topic. Uh, it's, uh, it hits the heart of a lot of folks, both uh, athletes and, and family members. And so it's important for us to develop these guidelines uh, to improve consistency uh, across states. We do a, a huge amount of uh, work on, on the state level and the federal level uh, to make sure that uh, regulations are in place to um, to ensure safety of these athletes, and that uh, includes uh, management and assessment from healthcare professionals. Uh, it's important to work uh, and reach out to other professions uh, as well to make sure that we are uh, addressing every facet of, of concussions. And I think we're doing that right now. And, and uh, uh, moving forward, I think it's going to get uh, uh, become stronger. Uh, and I think uh, we're going to uh, enable um, physical therapists to, to be at that table and to, to make sure that we are. Um, placing um, um, our uh, qualities and our talents uh, to make sure that we're able to um, maximize the return of these athletes and, 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 um, and uh, healthy individuals. So the development of these guidelines is happening now. Tell me about what, what is happening at this workshop. What do you hope to get out of this? Where, where do we hope to move the needle? Well, we're working with um, experts in the fields, in various fields of physical therapy, uh, sports, orthopedics, neurologic, uh, and pediatrics. Uh, and so the concussion is not specific to one section and one specialty practice. And it's important uh, for uh, multi-specialists uh, in, in physical therapy to sit down uh, and make sure that we're addressing uh, all aspects of concussion. That's exactly what we're doing here today. Excellent. So you can learn more about uh, concussion related to uh, legislation that's related to the concussion and, and what physical therapists can do um, and other issues like that on the APTA website. You can also learn about concussion and the role of physical therapists on the moveforwardpt.com website. Uh, John DeWitt, thank you very much.
I'm Jason Bellamy, and we'll catch you later.